I'm sure this is out of my price range, but what have you been asking I, on, yeah, on the I jacket? Even, I don't know. We haven't priced it yet. I was probably going to put like... Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Anthony. I forgot to record an intro for this video, so real quick, I do want to set it up. I went down to see my buddy Clay and his wife Carrie. They're the owners of Bay 7 Vintage. I've made a couple videos there. You may have seen them, but basically it's my absolute favorite place to go picking. So much great stuff and the deals are amazing. Problem is they're only open once a month. And as a matter of fact, they're only open one more time before they move out of their current location and they're not quite sure what their next step is going to be. So they were actually nice enough to let me come visit while they weren't open and kind of do a private pick, so to speak. Found some really great stuff to resell. Got a really awesome deal. They're really awesome people and I can't wait to go see them again. And real quick, if you are anywhere near the central Indiana area, I definitely recommend on January 30th to go visit them on their last day that they're open in, in their current location. I'll link everything in the description so you can find it and find out what they're doing, but I could not recommend them more. Anyway, I'm going to take you along with me and then afterwards I'll quickly show you all the amazing stuff I picked up. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How, how you doing? Good, good. You got the place to yourself today, man. Nice. I like it. Yeah, I'm free to look around. Cool. Thanks, man. Questions, awesome. Appreciate you. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Prices. Okay. Everything's got to go. Okay, man. Just, uh, you know, make a pile or whatever, and then we'll work on something. But, you know, cool. prices, unless it's like something that yeah, yeah, I want to sure. take with me. But yeah. For the most part, prices are nothing right now. So. Okay. Cool. Sounds good, man. If you hear me talking to myself, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> watch USA
Coleman's girl's looking at this play touch machine. I meant to grab it then. So I may see what he wants for that. There guys, black diamond. Just kidding.
buttery bobblehead. Made in China, probably nothing. We'll add it to the pile for now and see. I actually made money last month. Uh, I spent I spent probably two hours in there total, you know, because it was December. And actually made rent and made a little profit. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, it was good. I need to spend a lot more time in there though. Yeah, that that's where we started. Oh really? Well, actually, I guess it started in my house, but then we moved into booths. Uh -huh. Like three booths at Southport. Mm -hmm. You know where that is over here? Uh, I've never been there, but yeah, I know where it's at. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like a full time job, you know, like mm -hmm. you're not in there cleaning and changing yeah. stuff up. Tell you, it, it, it's a lot more fun than selling stuff online, though. Like, actually, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. it's a little different yeah. for sure. Especially for her, because she likes to do the stuff. Right, stuff. yeah. I need to have my wife go in there and kind of put that woman's touch on it, yeah. you know? But yeah. two kids, it's all. Does all this? Yeah, it's. There's some things a guy can't make look good, I think. <laughs> Yeah, this is, that's what I do there. I just bring it out whenever I'm there. Just put a pile in. <laughs> yeah, and make him hunt the car still at least. <laughs> Whenever you have a second, but I'm in no hurry. Uh, I kind of have this, and then I have one more pile back here oh, too. Okay, we'll so, take one. so there's this. And if anything hangs you up, just like I can, I can take it out. And we can, 
Uh, and then I get stacked up on top of this box. Okay. And this. Gotcha. I was gonna, um, at one point, try and like sand this down mm -hmm. and paint it black and like put cigars in it. That, that would, yeah, know, that'd be awesome. Same sizes. Yeah. Like, but it never happened. <laughs> I think I saw that two months ago and I, I meant to grab it then. Yeah, well, actually, Carrie's got the keys to it. So oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's a bonus. Um, let's just say, uh, 35 bucks for that. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. How about 100 bucks for all of it? For everything? Yeah. Seems crazy. And, uh, I'll get you some Sweet. I'm sure this is out of my price range, but what have you been asking I, on, yeah, on the I jacket? Even, I don't know. We haven't priced it yet. I was probably going to put like 35 bucks on it. That's it, huh? Yeah. Just because it's not like super old. Like no. it's old, obviously, but it's not like a super old like biker one. You know, if it had, yeah. had biker patches, I'd probably ask a little more. But it's just cool though. It is really super cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I sold a, a biker one on Etsy not too long ago. It had a couple biker patches and uh, some stuff like that. Oh, really? 80 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, yeah, and, um, our last, our last day here is like the end of February. Mm -hmm. And basically, we have to have everything out of here, obviously. So we're not taking all the shelves. Mm -hmm. So if you're in need of shelves, we sell oh, okay. a lot of them. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, no Appreciate problem. that. Do you have a new space yet? Or, or are you no, not yet. Um, we live in Franklin, which is like, like 10 minutes south of here. Yeah. And it's a big, like, uh, antique kind of place. Like right. A lot of antique shops and stuff. So we're trying to find somewhere there. But, um, I don't have anything yet, so. Are you thinking about just going back to like the booth thing? We might for a little while until like the, you know, the good. Yeah, I thought I remember you saying that. Um, but yeah, once we, uh, once we find a spot, we'll be doing this again, you know? Yeah. Yeah, nope. No one else around here is doing this, I don't think, so. Yeah, nice. I like doing it. It's just, um, we don't want to sign another three year lease here. Yeah. That... Three years is a long That's time. That's a long time. So, uh, if we can find somewhere that does like a year, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Did you sell the jacket then for 40? The what? The uh, jacket. Yeah. The, oh. the jean jacket? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 35, yeah. Oh, are these for sale too, the buttons? Yep, everything. Okay. And if you need any of these cases for, yeah. your, for your booth or uh -huh. whatever, we're selling those. Oh, okay. Well then, let's talk about that real quick. Okay. Um, How much? Uh, take 10 bucks for the case. Sure. Whatever. I, you know, pick out whichever ones you like or whatever. What about all of them? Um, how about 10 bucks for all of them? Sure. 20 bucks. Throw 20. these in there. Absolutely. And, um, we'll probably... Are we going to keep all of our mannequins, too, or...? Yeah. Eventually. Okay, well, I guess yeah. she got money. Yeah, those are a hot commodity. I wouldn't get <laughs> yeah. rid of them, either. They're, they're not, well, they're There's not cheap, you know? Yeah, right. One, they're not... And they're very hard to find. Jacket and that stuff. All right, cool. That'll work. Oh, you... we'll, we'll probably do a lot of like storage. Like we're gonna have a couple storage things, and we'll probably do more stuff like um, wholesaling type stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where, like if we get a lot of stuff, we'll invite people like you and sure. others that we know to come and shop through it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Your videos popped up like a recommendation. 
when you were talking about the pond road and stuff. Oh yeah, so old. That was that's the embarrassing stages right there. It didn't seem like it was that old. <laughs> it looked good to me. I yeah. Mean. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, this is no this is quite the deal. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said, we got one more month, so. I'll probably come to your last sale and then, uh, you know, I'll follow you. So. Yeah, for sure. We got um, a woman that's going to be bringing quite a large load of donations. So oh, really? As soon as she does, I'll let you know you can come dig through it. Absolutely. Thank you, man. Cool. Right on, brother. You guys. Appreciate you, bud. One. Thanks. You too. All right, so we're back in the garage. Absolutely amazing. Like I said, January 30th is their last day in their current location. Check out the links in the description. Go if you can, reach out if you can. I know they'll ship stuff. They have an eBay store, an Etsy store, but they'll even ship stuff that they take pictures of and post on their Facebook page and their Instagram page. So just check them out and show them some love. All right, so I wanna quickly show you everything I picked up. I can't do it in detail because there's just too much. But let's just quickly go through it. First of all, he sold me this awesome case from my antique booth. This will definitely come in handy. I'm not quite sure what I'll put in this. You know, maybe buttons, because we have buttons inside. Inside we have all these awesome buttons. I've been buying a lot of buttons lately. I, I really enjoy them. They're not huge money makers, but they're great little cheap booth items. Uh, there's just a, a bunch of neat ones in here. A lot of vintage political stuff, TGI Fridays, since he's great in 68. Just a bunch of cool stuff with a lot of different subject matter. Pretty excited about this buy, actually. In this box, we have a bunch of cassettes and old blank media. There's a bunch of these Sony LNX 60 cassettes, still sealed in the original package. Tone Loke, we got the Beatles, we got Houdini, another old hip hop band. Some more sealed blank tapes, Jimi Hendrix. Clapton. There's some blank VHS tapes. There's a there's a few of those in there. This is like a pack of five. Inside this case, there's some more good titles like The Clash. There's The Kinks, Tears for Fears, Quiet Riot, Def Leppard. Definitely the kind of stuff I look for when I buy cassettes. And I was I was shocked to walk straight in and find this entire box sitting there. A couple other oddments in here like some uh, Smith Corona correctable ribbon and a correcting cassette. There's another Beatles cassette. We have tons of cool stuff in there. This will be a lot of fun to go through and lot up. I just thought these were kind of neat. Here's an old Cortina language course, I believe. I believe this one is Spanish. They're on LPs. This will probably go in the booth just because it's got the look. Never sold anything like this, but I just thought it was kind of neat. I guess it's some sort of like fabric swatch sampler that would go in a store or something. It's got it's got prices on these different designs of fabric. You know, it tells, it tells what the pattern is and everything. So, I don't know. I, I just thought it was kind of cool. I'm sure someone will like that. I thought this jacket was way too cool with all these patches. The brand is Jeans Joint, which I believe is uh, an old Sears brand. But I just, I just liked all the patches. There's some superhero patches, some military patches some Indy 500 patches, some car patches, just tons of different subject matter. And I just thought it was really cool. There's a Spider-Man. Couldn't leave that set and I just really liked it. Lots of random stuff in this box here. There's an old invalid cushion, a vintage ice cap. There's a French Superman comic, a PS2. No clue if it works, but if it does, that's that's decent for sure. Excalibur is always a brand I look out for. This is a Quizmaster still in the box. Um, there's an Atari Anniversary Edition computer game, a weather ball. Found a bunch of cool clocks there. Made by Brown and Bigelow. Clocks go great in the booth. I've already sold a few. There's a Juliet flip clock. And this one is made by Sessions. I picked up this knife. I really don't think it probably has any value. But I just thought it was, it was uh, really well made. There's a new old stock Wizard of Oz Betamax cassette. There's a weird random mug. No idea on that. But I think it has some makers much on the bottom. So I'll look it up later. I'm going to grab like a bunch of DVDs too. I don't really know why. I don't think these have a lot of value, but uh, everybody loves Raymond and Seinfeld and in Living Color, and there's a Scorsese box set. This, I know, can have some decent value. The Christmas classics, like with Rudolph and stuff, especially before Christmas time, I think this can sell like in the $30 range. This is probably one of my favorite things I picked up. Vintage Nyko Thor Digital Proportional Radio Control Monster Truck. I've not tried to charge the battery yet, but this thing is in like immaculate condition. Instructions are still in the plastic. The remote has absolutely no battery corrosion. And there's the truck itself with the charging cables and everything. Like I said, almost perfect condition. So I'm really excited to get this thing charged up and see what it can do. Worst case, even for parts, these things do really well. I believe this is the last of it. There's some really good stuff in this bin too. 
an old Buddy Lee bobblehead, cool vintage toaster. These things do really well in the booth. An old Chicago Bears Christmas ornament. Here is a uh, Wild Style Betamax cassette. Could not find any comps on this, but the VHS version can sell for between like 30 and 50 bucks. There's an armband radio Walkman. Always do well with these on Amazon. This book was really cool. The Winner's Book of Video Games by Craig QB. Looks like a really neat vintage video game book. There's an old metronome. I don't, I don't really know what all of these things are, but I did scan a few afterwards. And looks like there's some pretty good value in here. How music and mathematics relate. It's like a DVD and a book still on the plastic. The Joy of Science still in the plastic set. A bunch of stuff like that. I need to I need to separate it all and see exactly what we got. Found a bunch of cool hats. There's Florida, Puerto Rico, Air Force Academy, Royal George, Colorado, Operation Desert Storm, St. Thomas, Durango and Silverton Railroad. There's an old Florida Gators hat. There's another Florida hat. This Bahamas hat's really cool. Cout's annual pork fest. An old starter cap. Mexico Mayan world. A Taz hat. An old Jack Daniels hat. And a Bay Point hat. Probably no home runs in there, but even at 10 to 15 bucks a piece, we should do really well with these hats. Just a few things left here. We have this old toy xylophone. Sounds really cool. It's made of metal. It's made by Tudor Metal Products Corporation. And then some more odds and ends. There's another button. Have you driven a Thunderbird lately? An old lighter with an inscription that says to Jenny from Bill 22768 it's made by Chrysler a couple cool old pocket knives again very good antique booth inventory another old pocket knife another lighter an old Timex watch I do really well with old Timex watches so I was, I was I was pretty excited to see that and another thing I do well on old Mickey Mouse watches this one's got a couple little cracks in the crystal otherwise it's in decent condition it's a 17 jewels watch it says Walt Disney on it Mickey Mouse and I think the back says it's Swiss made and all that very cool little watch another pocket knife and this guy oh yeah there's one more thing actually it's my favorite thing I can't believe I forgot it last thing I think this is just really awesome it's an old uh Playtex dispenser like you'd see at a gas station or something don't even know why I really wanted this but I saw it the first time I ever went to their store meant to buy it forgot about it saw it the next time I went and thought it was in someone else's pile I guess it wasn't because it was still there and I finally got it it's even got the keys with it for the money drawer and for the unit itself Clay had a really cool idea about maybe refinishing it and making it a dispenser for cigars or something I think that's a really cool idea ultimately I'll just probably end up putting it in the antique booth with a high price because I don't really necessarily want to sell it, but I have no reason to keep it. All right, so that was just a quick rundown of everything. Once again, links in the description. Go see Clay and Carrie at Base 7 Vintage. If you're able, if you're nearby, you will not be disappointed. But that is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap